Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is day 16 of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. Um, day 16's prompt is, um, is there a particular tarot card that I look out for in a tarot deck when I'm purchasing a deck? Like, um, and if I don't like that tarot card, like if I don't like the artwork I'm assuming in that deck, does it ruin the whole deck for me? So, when I'm purchasing a tarot deck, um, I don't necessarily just pay attention to one particular card. I do like to see what the moon card looks like in a deck when I'm purchasing one, like if I'm on the hunt. But that's because I have a very soft spot for moons. So I love little moons. Um, the moon card is one of my favorite decks, and one of my favorite cards in the tarot. The high priestess is one of, is another one that I like to look at. Um, the eight of wands and the cup suit, I would say, are probably the ones that I really like to see different versions of when I'm looking at decks before I purchase them. Um, but I have purchased, I will admit, I have purchased a deck specifically because I liked the moon card in it. One of them being the Gothic Tarot. I really, really enjoyed the moon card in the Gothic Tarot. Um, and the, um, the Aquarian Tarot. That's another one where I um, purchased it specifically because I like the moon card. Um... I have owned and I do own decks that the moon card disappointed me. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily the artwork I preferred or I didn't really like the interpretation of the moon in that in that sense, but I would say it didn't necessarily ruin the entire deck for me. Um, I will still work with a deck of cards even if I don't like you know one or two cards out of the entire deck like I'm not gonna just say oh I can't work with this one um but I have done the I am guilty of purchasing a deck specifically because I enjoy one card out of the whole thing <laughs> so I would have to say yes um the Aquarian Tarot and the Gothic Tarot are two decks that I could think of off the top of my head um that did that for me with the moon card um but I would say I have owned decks where I didn't necessarily like a certain card, but no, it doesn't really ruin it for me. Nah, not really. <laughs> it just depends, I think. Um, I think it's important that we, you know, if, if you are into tarot and you're like on the hunt for a deck, I think it's important that you do as much you know, searching and investigating of the cards as much as you possibly can prior to making that purchase. Um, especially if you know you can be picky with the artwork or you could be picky with like random details. Um, and usually this day, since there's so many readers and, and a lot of amazing readers on YouTube, surprisingly, there's more and more now, um, you could find deck reviews or deck reveals or unboxing videos on YouTube and a lot of the times you are able to kind of get a nice little sneak peek of that particular deck before you purchase it. So um, I would say do your homework before you actually put the money down, especially if it's like an indie deck where it's, you know, a little bit more pricey than more well-known decks that are easier to obtain. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's only if, you know, you're you know you're picky about it and something like that could bother you if it's not the best. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for um, prompt 16. I apologize for the short video, <laughs> but you know, I just like to get right to the point. So um, if you watch this video, let me know what is your make it or break it for a tarot deck. Um, what is your favorite card? You know, so you guys know the moon is mine. Um, and yeah, let's talk tarot. Leave some comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 17. Bye, my loves.